So we're gonna look at releasing the piriformis, which is a muscle in your bum, um, with using a tennis ball. Now, the piriformis is a muscle that lies from your pelvis and it attaches to your, to your leg, um, and quite, sometimes it can go in, into spasm, um, and quite often it can. Now, it lies on top of the sciatic nerve, and in some people, the sciatic nerve actually pierces the, the piriformis itself. Now, when this muscle goes into spasm, for whatever reason, it might be that we sit so much, or maybe it's just that um, we've got a muscular imbalance, then this muscle can go into spasm. And what it can do is actually press on the sciatic nerve itself and create sciatic nerve symptoms. So this uh, pain in, in the bum, uh, which uh, goes down the leg, and it can lead to um, sort of um, that tingly feeling or that, that nervy feeling that you might get. So sometimes um, we have to release it with a tennis ball um, or other types of balls. Um, quite often I will usually recommend doing a leg press exercise or a foresign exercise and if that doesn't work then I tend to try this. Um, if a muscle has been in spasm for more than six weeks, research shows that up to 40% of it can actually become what's called fibrotic. And this means that it can actually be glued together. The muscle fibers can start to glue together. So the tennis ball is a good way of actually getting rid of that glue a little bit as well. So we can, we can use it that way. So the way we do it is you're going to place one foot over the opposite knee, shift yourself to the side, and you're going to place a tennis ball on the floor, and you're going to roll yourself onto the tennis ball. Now, you're going to use your hands to... Uh, judge how much weight you're going to press or use on the ball. Um, you're looking for a painful spot. Um, see, have a roll around and see where you can find it. Don't rush with it. Take your time and see what you can find. For me, that's quite an uncomfortable spot. So you're going to hold it there. Hold it for about 30 seconds. And what should happen is the pain should start to release a little bit. Oh, mine started to re release. So then come off, have a another route round. You can shift your weight over to one side. Um, and literally just try and explore and find what is actually going on there. Um, again, you are looking for painful areas. Um, it's knowing the difference between a good pain and a bad pain. If you're pressing on and it feels nervy, then come off um, and then go on again and see what you can find again. Um, so this is releasing your piriformis using a tennis ball.